All right, yesterday we talked about um, interior angles, and today we're going to talk about exterior angles. Exterior angles of a polygon. One at each vertex sum three hundred and sixty degrees for all shapes. It doesn't matter what the polygon is. Three sides all the way through infinite number of sides. The exterior angles, one at each vertex, sum 360 degrees. All right. We talked about exterior angles earlier this year. So if we got this triangle, ABC, you can see that it's got three exterior angles. I'll highlight those here. Here's one of them at vertex A. Here's another one at vertex B. And here's a third one, I'm sorry, at vertex C, and then a third one at vertex B. <clears throat> those are the three exterior angles for that shape. All right, they have to sum 360 degrees. So, you know, if this one's 100, and then this one's 140. What's that, 240? Then this would have to be 120. The exterior angles of a polygon sum 360, no matter how, sides there, how many sides there are. So those are the type of problems you're going to get today. You may get a one, two, three, four, five sided shape. All right. Let me, I, I don't know. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five sided shape. And I don't know if you need to worry about copying this down as much as understanding the concept. What do all these exterior angles have to add up to? 360, so you don't need to write that down, right? So if all of these angles had different expressions in them, if this was 2x plus 5, if this was 3x plus 10, if we got a 6x minus 5, and a 2x and a 5x. And let's say that these are labeled A, B, C, D, and E. The type of questions you're going to get are, what is the sum of the exterior angles of this pentagon. All right, the sum of the exterior angles is 360. Then you would be asked something like find the value of X and then find the value of each exterior angle. So to find the value of X, you're gonna add up all your X's like you did yesterday. So 2X and 3X is 5X plus 6x is 11x, plus two more x is 13x, and 5x is 18x. And then you've got your whole numbers. You got 5 plus 10 minus 5. So that's a positive 10. So you got 18x plus 10 equal to, what are they all equal to? Yeah, 360. 
So you subtract 10. So 18x equals 360 minus 10 is 350. And divide by 18. So x equals, what is it? 19.4. There's what your x equals. And then you guys know now how to find out each exterior angle, the measure. I'm gonna call this just the exterior angle at A. So say at vertex, at vertex A. That's gonna be three times 19.4. Plus 10. So 3 times 19.4 equals 58.2 plus 10, 68.2. And then we got at vertex B. That's 6 times 19.4 minus 5. Six times 19.4 equals, minus five equals 111.4. And we got at vertex C. That's just two times 19.4. 38.8. .8. We got at D. That's five times the 19.4. A 97. At E, we got two. Oh, I'm going to lose my pen. That's going to be, you're going to have to write this on your own because I just lost my pen. I don't know, and I don't know how to regain it without restarting the computer. It happens about four times a year. So you're going to write 2 times 19.4 plus 5. And whatever that equals goes in your notes. All right, so anybody got any questions on some of the exterior angles, finding the value of a variable, and then finding the value of each exterior angle. All right, so you're going to have to uh, listen here because I can't write on the wall. Page 398. On page 398, you got problems eight and nine. And then on 399, thirty through thirty-three. 